So in the Philippines, before you can start start construction a building, you go through a series of red tape. Uh, you have to make a tax clearance, pay all your uh, taxes, it should be current. You have to get the tax clearance, then you deal with the with the barangay. So, uh, some of the barangay officials are even very unprofessional. Uh, they make it so hard to get that certification from the barangay that you are allowed to, to construct a building it is in your property. So it has to be approved by the lowest political unit. And uh, the requirements you should have to get a approval from the association also. So later on we talk to the president of the association here and uh, hopefully things will run smoothly said it's a very tedious process dealing with this bureaucratic red tape to start a construction of a small building in the Philippines. How much more for those big buildings? So uh, it's not just to discourage investors in the Philippines but just to realize that if you want to invest in the Philippines, if you want to do business in the Philippines, what is sad is that the process is very long and tedious red tape and I think the government, the Philippine government should correct this, should make things easy for the investors so they can invest their money in the Philippines and make the economy in the Philippines more progressive. Uh, how can you entice an investor if you start dealing with the bureaucratic red tape? So uh, hopefully the Department of Trade and Industry and City Government of Antipolo and the uh, Provincial government of Antipolo will look at these concerns that you should be investor friendly. You should accommodate investors, whether the investor putting up a building, a house, or a business building, or any kind of business in the in the city of Antipolo should be investor friendly, so that you can invite more investors, you can invite more dollars to come in, and when you have more investors, you can provide more to the people here in, in your city. So I, I think we will talk about that later.